Hey guys, it's YB and Herbert. So today we got Asian food from Trader Joe's. We did a video before at Erwin, which was a very expensive supermarket, and we tried some food from there. But Trader Joe's, that's everywhere. And you guys probably have a Trader Joe's around. I think Trader Joe's is a pretty common grocery store that a lot of people know. And I've been hearing that they have a ton of options for Asian food and even Korean food. So we got kimbap here and tteokbokki and a bunch of other Asian foods. So I thought we should try them and review them for you guys. Why don't you tell us what we have on this side? So here we have some chicken tiki masala. Uh, then we have some beef bulgogi, mm -hmm. which I'm very excited for. Yeah. Pad thai. Then we got orange chicken, we got kimbap, we got tteokbokki, which is a spicy rice cake. We got crispy egg rolls. These are chicken egg rolls, chicken spring rolls. We got soup dumplings and tapche, which is the Korean glass noodles. Okay, well, let's do the appetizer first then, the chicken spring roll. Oh, nice. The chicken spring rolls were $4.49. So this one was really easy to make. All I had to do was microwave it. I like it. Tastes somewhat fresh. Mm hmm Tastes like what you would get at a restaurant. Now that's crispy, but that's because I probably microwaved it. You could probably... I like it more like this though. Like soft. You could probably air fry this and make it crispier, but... Taste-wise, it just tastes like a regular spring roll. We got some soup dumplings. They had a lot of dumplings. I got a video of the variety of dumplings they had. But I got the pork and ginger soup dumplings. So eat it all in one bite because they're soup. You look a little flat. It is a bit flat, but I taste the soup. It kind of explodes once you eat it. Oh, oh no! No! no. Here, you want to eat this one? This one definitely has to One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. The ginger is pretty strong on this one, but I like it. It goes well with the pork. As someone who eats regularly H Mart dumplings, I would say the H Mart ones are a bit higher quality in my opinion, even though they're pretty similar. Um, but it is still pretty good and very, you know, convenient, easy to eat like a quick snack. I also feel like dumplings you can't do much wrong. That's true. But you didn't react like, oh! No, so. I didn't. Um, so that's saying something. Because when we went to a restaurant and ate them, they, were just, they, they felt oh, more yeah. fresh. Oh yeah, well you can't compare it to a restaurant. Well, that's quality. what I'm doing here. So. Okay, okay, okay. Let's compare them to restaurant quality. Okay. Because right. the egg rolls were actually as restaurant quality. Right, correct. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Okay then, we have orange chicken here. $4.99. I think that's okay. a very, very good price because I only cooked half of it. So there's like mm. half more left. This one wasn't microwavable. I actually had to cook it. Which is a little more work, but... So this tastes a bit more healthy. Mm, okay. I guess if you compare it to like Panda Express or orange chicken, this is less sweet, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I would say it's in between orange chicken and teriyaki chicken almost. It has more of a savory taste than sweet, but it's very good. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's not as sweet, but it's very good. I think if a restaurant would give that to me as an appetizer, then... I wouldn't complain. Okay. Well, since we just had meat, why don't we move over to the rice cake land? I've been actually very excited to try this. This is tteokbokki, Korean rice cakes that I had to also cook, but it was fairly easy. The Korean tteokbokki is $3.99. Here's. Very chewy. Very chewy. But this one's not as spicy as you would get as a normal rice cake. There's still a little bit of heat. Yeah. Very little. But it's a bit more no, you can chewy than the other thing. Yeah. I do notice that it's very chewy, but I prefer a bit softer styles. So if I was to compare to the H-Mart rice cakes, the H-Mart tteokbokki's, I prefer the H-Mart one. Now let's try your favorite, the beef bulgogi. Time. This is the most expensive item out of all of them. It's $12.99. What? This one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Let's see if it's meat. worth it. I mean, it is all meat. There's no rice included. Just pure bulgogi. Here's. And this also was just microwavable. All you had to do was put it in the microwave for five minutes. And you just need rice on the side. And I think this is a good meal for one or two. Yeah, I would. So $12.99 is still good. Mm. Give it a $9.99 and I'm happy. 
How would you describe the bulgogi flavor to those who haven't tried it? It's not your typical meat flavor, mm -hmm. I think. I think it's sweet, right? It's a bit sweeter. Um, it's easier to eat because it's like shredded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sauce really makes the bulgogi what bulgogi is. It's a very distinct flavor and it's it's very sweet, kind of soy saucy vibes, but it's very good. Not too sweet, like... Mm, it's pretty sweet. If you're just used to steak. Okay. But it is Herbert's favorite Korean food. So he loves when we get... When we go to Korean barbecue or any Korean restaurant, Herbert gets bulgogi. And if you approve the Trader Joe's bulgogi, yeah. Yeah, that means it's really good. Eating bulgogi alone might be salty, so we're gonna move on to the kimbap town. This is Korean kimbap, which is rice and vegetables and some meat wrapped in seaweed. Some people get it confused with sushi, but it's different from the Japanese sushi. Um, the difference is that with the rice that they use and the type of fillings that they have, but typically the Korean kimbaps have cooked meat inside and veggies rather than raw fish. <coughs> $3.99 for this whole roll. Is that different? stuff in here or they're all the same? This one, well, usually they have bulgogi kimbap, cheese kimbap. This one, I think it's just veggies. This is a beef kimbap. I taste bulgogi inside. Huh? Mm -hmm. And all me too. <laughs> but you could eat it with bulgogi because they do have bulgogi kimbap. I usually prefer with ham. And the great thing about kimbap is that there are so many vegetables inside, but you don't really taste it. Like normally, I would not eat any of these vegetables by itself. Never. You couldn't pay me to eat it. But when it's in a kimbap, I don't really taste it because the meat and the radish and all this texture with the rice and seaweed overpower it. And I'm able to enjoy vegetables and eat it. Regarding the quality of the kimbap, it's pretty good for an instant kimbap, but in my experience, when I went to 7-Eleven in Korea and they had like those instant kimbaps, those were a lot better. I think just because they had more variety and flavor and this one is still good, but it's not as good as the ones you get at 7-Eleven in Korea. But still a step forward because Trader Joe's is more available in America and hopefully people who haven't tried kimbaps can try it here. Okay, Herbert's really finishing the bulgogi. We are gonna move over to non-Korean. This is pad thai. They had a vegetable pad thai. This one was $3.49. I am amazed by these prices, even though it should be the normal, but just comparing to the Erewhon video we did and just with the food prices nowadays in LA, where you if you order a pad thai, you're easily spending almost $20. Cheers. <laughs> That's not my favorite. Same. <laughs> I'll give it one more bite because I think I had a lot of the yeah. veggies. I don't feel it though. And I just talked about how this is so much more worth it than a twenty dollar pad thai. But <laughs> well, I I do prefer going for pad thai. Feel like to a restaurant. I'm not sure why, but probably what? all the different ingredients in it. Hmm. I think ordering pad thai is still pretty good. It's still okay, mm, but if it's not as fresh, mm -hmm. it's like more like flop together. That's true. Noodles, they stick together. Okay, so this pad thai is not, it's not bad. It's not like, oh my god, I can't eat it. But it's not good. Yeah, not, doesn't tickle my... Brain. Brain. Doesn't tickle my, it tickle my soccer balls. Alright. Now we have chicken tikka masala. This is, you know, our favorite Indian food that we order all the time. $4.49. Still cheap, but more expensive than the pad thai. We even have rice on this side, so you don't have to make this separately. Mm, that's good. That's pretty good. It's uh, very small. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a snack. <laughs> I think three bites will be over. But it's very good. If you're hungry, you get three. I do think you need two or three, at least two, to be full from this as a meal. I critique the Korean food more because I'm Korean, so I would like to hear from an Indian person trying this and then saying, is this tasting good enough to be legit or is it just an Americanized version? So now we have Korean tapte. This is the Korean glass noodles, $3.49, so also very cheap. This is usually a side dish in Korea, so we eat this with like bulgogi or some other meats. Yes. Mm. That yeah. tastes as known. It tastes like exactly like chapche. Because 
Even though it looks very simple, you, you think it's just like noodles that's gonna taste like nothing. Japchae has its own flavor and just the noodles. Like you don't need any sauce poured over it. And that's it's a, good. Yeah. Like that. And it's really good. It actually tastes like something my mom would make. And they don't stick together mm -hmm. as much. So, yeah. uh, so what do you think? So I think overall, Trader Joe's Asian food is very good quality and very close to the original. Some are better than others, but overall, price-wise, oh my god, amazing. It doesn't feel like your regular frozen food. Yeah. And there's many more. Today we focus on Asian food. Right. Like there's so much more. Tell us trying Asian food from Trader Joe's. Let us know if you've tried any of these, if you have a Trader Joe's near you. But let us know what we should try next. What grocery store, what kind of food, what do you want to see? So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!